The objective of the braking system is to stop a vehicle in an efficient, stable and progressive manner. The following factors influence braking efficiency. The driver. The road surface grip conditions. The tyre wear condition. And the active forces, which are the surface contact force. The longitudinal force and the transversal force. Grip allows the transmission of the forces between the tyre and the road surface. Slip, in contrast to grip, does not allow the transmission of the forces. An increase in the amount of slip leads to a reduction in grip. Slip and grip are totally linked. Now let's take a look at the different conditions of grip. On dry concrete, the grip coefficient is at its maximum and the slip is almost zero. On a wet road surface there is less grip and the slip value increases. On fresh snow, the grip coefficient drops and the slip value is very high. On ice, the grip coefficient is almost zero and the slip value is at its maximum level. During emergency braking, high pressure is applied to the brake pedal. The wheels lock. Locking of the wheels causes a loss of vehicle stability and control. If the slip value is at 100%, the wheels lock and the vehicle loses grip. The role of the ABS system is to prevent the wheels from locking during emergency braking. A slip value not exceeding 20% enables the control of the vehicle to be retained. The ABS system comprises the following elements. Wheel speed sensors, targets, and an ABS unit. This ABS unit comprises a computer, a hydraulic unit, and a motor driving a hydraulic pump. Mouse over the components to identify them. The wheel speed sensors measure the speed of rotation of the wheels. The rotating targets generate signals that are read by the sensors. The sensors send these signals to the ABS computer. A rapid drop in speed indicates the start of a wheel locking. There are two types of wheel speed sensor. Passive sensors and active sensors. The passive sensor also known as the inductive sensor, comprises a permanent magnet and a coil. The sensor is fitted opposite a target. The target is a toothed wheel, which may be known as a pulse wheel. The rotating toothed wheel generates a variation in the magnetic field and induces a sinusoidal signal. The signal quality depends on the speed of rotation of the wheels. The active sensor is supplied by the computer. It measures the speed of rotation from 0 km per hour. The sensor is fixed opposite the target. The target is sometimes built into the wheel bearing. The magnetic target takes the form of a succession of north and south poles. The alternation of the poles varies the signal output. The signal output takes the form of a square pulse signal of variable frequency. When replacing a wheel bearing, comply with the recommendations in the technical documentation. The ABS unit comprises the following elements. A computer, a hydraulic unit, and a motor driving a hydraulic pump. The computer receives information from each wheel sensor. 
As soon as one wheel shows a tendency to lock, the computer sends a command to the solenoids and the hydraulic pump. The computer receives information from the brake pedal. The computer informs the driver of a problem via a warning light on the instrument panel. The hydraulic unit comprises the following elements. A hydraulic pump, which prevents the pedal from being fully depressed during the ABS regulation phase. Pressure accumulators. And solenoids that regulate the braking pressure for each wheel. Each wheel has an inlet solenoid and an outlet solenoid. The presence of ABS regulation on the rear wheels eliminates the need for a brake compensator. The electronic brake distributor is an additional function managed by the computer. The electronic brake distributor modulates the pressure to the rear wheels. If the ABS system is no longer electrically supplied, the electronic brake distributor becomes inoperative. There is then a major risk of the rear wheels side-slipping when braking.